are going in the wrong direction. The Centers for Disease Control found the death rate rose 43% between 2000 and 2016. A pretty scary number. That's despite the fact that death rates for all cancers combined is going down. Dr. Sam Lubner joins us from the UW Carbone Cancer Center to talk about this trend. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. What's going on with this particular cancer? Yeah, you know, the... Um the death rates for all cancers, as you said, are on the way down, and I think that has a lot to do with recognizing risk factors for other major cancers like lung cancer. Smoking rates are on the decline. Lung cancer mortality is on the decline. In liver cancer, uh, it is often the end result of a series of other risk factors, things like alcohol abuse, mm -hmm. things like injection drug use, or things like receiving a transfusion before the blood pool was appropriately tested for things like hepatitis C. So uh, those factors, you know, uh, combine for a development of a cancer by a delay of about 20 years. So we're still seeing that increase um, as a result of those risk factors. Do you think too that there's not enough awareness, I'm just curious, uh, of the risk factors here? And you said a lot of this can happen pretty quietly. Yeah, most patients present uh, asymptomatically. Yeah. This isn't the kind of thing mm -hmm. where you can see a mass or you're coughing up blood or some mm -hmm. other alarming symptom. So this is often detected when it's asymptomatic and uh, what it really takes is a vigilant primary doctor to ask the right questions about transfusions before 1992, injection drug use, uh, alcohol, and obesity. How about treatments? Are we on pace with new technology compared to treatments for other cancers? You know, I think the, the funding for liver cancer lags behind other cancers for a variety of reasons, and I also think it's just a harder cancer to treat. Where we're making a lot of headway is treatment for some of the risk factors, so um, vaccines for hepatitis B make a big difference. Treatment Treatments for virally mediated hepatitis C developing uh, cancer down the road. So now that we've got better treatments for hepatitis C, we have uh, less incidence of hepatitis C related cancer. And you said, we're talking about 43%, uh, you know, roughly in the last 20 years or so. You said this rate has been going up for decades and decades and decades. Yep. In your eyes, what is it going to take to go in the other direction? Well, I think um, from a public health uh, perspective, we've done a lot of important things like identifying these risk factors and educating the public about things like like alcohol abuse, injection drug use, and making sure that people know, hey, if, you know, if you've gotten uh, a blood transfusion in the late 80s, early 90s, or if, you've, uh, if you continue to abuse alcohol or um, have obesity, you're at risk for developing other bad things. So the takeaway here is really taking a look at your alcohol consumption mm -hmm. and the use of drugs. Agreed. And uh, I would also say uh, having a healthy lifestyle, the healthy balanced diet and decreasing abdominal obesity. All right. Some interesting, interesting. Yeah, definitely. Right Dr. Sam Lubner, thanks so much.